Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be looking at this crazy voodoo magic trick I don't quite understand, which makes some enemies passive. This goblin definitely knows I'm here, right? But as soon as I drop onto the ground next to him, he goes into this totally frozen state. Now, this is actually very abnormal. Let me show you how it normally works. You'll need a couple things to get started. First, a very angry goblin, preferably a red one. They're much more fun. You start the cage kind of big, and then you get in it. There needs to be a way for you to get out, so as soon as the goblin comes in, you just jump on his head and get over him, right? This is what normally happens when a monster can't get to you. He's gonna think for a second, and then he starts attacking the walls. This is what is supposed to happen when you cage something up. As you can see, he is happily wailing away on the walls and inevitably is going to destroy all of them. So let's go inside here and have a little bit of fun. Well, what we need to do now is sort of trap him a little bit better. So here we have one cage, and what we're trying to do now is get him to get stuck in a corner. So let's have him go again. Oh, oh, he almost got me there. Here we go. So now he's trapped. You see, it used to be a bigger cage, but now he can't move. And something weird happens with goblins. As soon as you do this, I can get rid of all this other stuff, right? And for some reason, the goblins, as long as you stay pretty much eye level to them, they just sort of freeze. So you can have a goblin like this in your base. It's pretty cool, it could be a pet. You can essentially tame the goblin. But you can see that weird stuff starts to happen. If we get on top of the cage, it starts functioning like normal. He'll start meleeing the walls, right? But then as soon as we get back to eye level with the goblin, he essentially freezes in place. You see what I mean? He just stops attacking the cage and becomes totally passive. And these cage tricks are sort of weird because it doesn't always work. You see this cage right here? There we go, I've built it back up and now we just need a goblin friend. Here we go, here's our goblin and he knows that I'm here, right? Now that I've waited a bit, you can see that for some reason this cage just doesn't work. And you might think, oh, it's because it doesn't have a top. But there he goes. He just wails away at the cage, right? But as you can see, sometimes you get duds. And it seems to be based on the placement of the cage. Every cage I put here doesn't work. Yet, if I just do the exact same thing right next to it, and this goblin, yet for some reason, this goblin doesn't attack me. Even though that other one in the cage was able to escape like normal. And you can now see the demonstration of this magical effect. What happened on the right is what's supposed to happen. The goblin just sort of breaks out, right? And normally you would bypass this by just running far enough away, and you'd keep going away until you basically load out of the zone, and then you come back. And from this point on, the goblins will have forgotten you're there, and they have no way to confirm that you're there by seeing you because they can't ever make eye contact with the character, so they won't get aggressive from that point on. And normally, that's how you would deal with it. But with this weird cage phenomena, you don't even have to do that. You can just place them in the cage, and the moment they're in there, they're just stuck. They'll freeze. And if you try this and it doesn't work, just try placing the cage somewhere else. As you can see, this is what'll happen normally. But if you get the cage in the right spot, then you really can just cage a goblin pretty much wherever you want. So far, I've been illustrating how this phenomena works, right? But let's show you how to actually cage a goblin in the game, because you need to use a bit more strategy. You can't just put a cage and put a goblin in like I'm doing right here. You need to actually trap them, right? So here we are. We have found a red goblin up there on the hill. I'm gonna get a little bit further away, and what we're gonna do is build a little cage for him. We'll start by flattening some ground, just really simple, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then you'll need to bring enough materials for a workbench, and a forge, and plenty of iron. Start by finding a flat spot where you can see the entirety of the cage floor. 
Notice how if I take it over here, some of it gets clipped into the ground. This can mess things up, so make sure that the cage floor is fully visible. We're gonna pick that spot there. And now you're gonna actually make the cage bigger than you need it to be. This is gonna enable us to easily trap the goblin. And here's our basic goblin trap. You can make it easier to use by placing a little step inside. This is gonna come invaluable later. But for now, this is ready to go. All we need to do is go grab our goblin friend and clear out the death skeetos. Once you've found you're the enemy of your choice, make sure that you clear all other enemies because it's hard enough to keep one guy from killing you as you bait them towards your trap. Goblins are pretty good at chasing you, so all you have to do is run to your cage, and then you might want to change the door so it opens outwards. This will make it a little bit easier for the goblin to get in. It might take the goblin a couple rounds, but eventually they're going to leap into the cage and you can just lock them in and then jump out of it. Now, from this point on, you have the goblin stuck, but he's gonna be damaging the cage. So to prevent him from continuing to damage the cage, you'll need to trap him in one corner of the cage. The easiest way to do this is make some kind of little step right outside, and then just wait for him to get sort of trapped and build so that he gets stuck. And the monsters can be quite strong, so don't be surprised if they break everything, right? But eventually, you'll get everything in place and you'll notice if it works because the moment you place it, he'll stop attacking. As long as you're not directly above him. As you, as you saw earlier, if I get on top of him, he'll start attacking again. It just doesn't work when the character's up there for some reason. But as long as your character's over here, you can see that he will just freeze and totally stop attacking. So from this point on, you can actually get rid of everything else. And it's always good measure to actually put a top on. But you can see that even though you put the top on, when you are up above his eyesight, he'll start behaving normally and attacking. This phenomena only works when you're at the same level as the goblin. What's really interesting about these cages is that external monsters will actually attack them and inevitably release the monsters inside. As you can see here, these wolves are <laughs> fighting the caged goblin and they just let the goblin out of the cage. It usually takes a moment for the AI to recognize that it's free, but <laughs> it can produce some really interesting results, as you can see. You can use caged monsters as a sort of last minute defense against raids. Now, what do you think about this phenomena? Why does it happen? And why is it that if you get up high above the monster, it totally breaks and they start behaving like normal? Why is it that you have to be on the same level as the monster? If you have any theories on this, then comment below and let me know. Also, see if you can do this with trolls or anything like that. I was never able to get it to work for all of the big monsters. And if you wanna support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server using my link, JP Valheim. You can go to zaphosting.com to take care of that. There's a link in the description below. You can also like this video or any other Valheim video on YouTube to let YouTube know that you wanna see more Valheim content. And with that, I hope you have a blast. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.